Hey, Amy, how are you today? I'm doing good, Pat. How are you? Great. I wanted to take a few minutes and just talk about some exciting new first-time homebuyer programs that are out there, and then maybe we can wrap it up having a little conversation about kind of an old-time friend that's working its way back into uh, the spotlight, if we may, uh, for uh, first-time homebuyers. Um, so the, the first one uh, you, were, you and I were talking about the other day is this interesting new grant program. Yeah. Um, take a minute and just talk about what it is. Sure. It's a mass housing program. So you have to go on the mass housing website and get approved for the grant. And you have to, um, with the grant, you have to live in one of 28 communities, including Boston, and they list their 28 communities. And one is the town of Bonstable. Mm -hmm. And if you live in one of those communities, you can buy anywhere in the state of Massachusetts and you can get up to $50,000 as a forgivable grant. And that would be used towards your down payment and your closing costs. You can actually buy down points to get your rate better. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy upfront mortgage insurance so you don't have a mortgage insurance premium. So I think that's exciting for people that live in the town of Bonstable. Um, it goes by your income limit. So if you're, okay. it's called uh, area medium income. And if you are at 80% of that, which is 92,000, you can, if you're below that amount, um, you can actually get up to um, the 50,000. If you're 135% wow. of that, which would be 156, um, 156,000, you can get 35,000 um, in forgive. It's a forgivable grant. So it's in the town of Bonstable. So your, your client you're going to want to look for is your first time home buyer that may have some money to put down because yeah. they'd like you to find the property ahead of time and then apply for the grant. And mm -hmm. what they will do is they'll take the grant. And if you qualify, you can decide, um, you know, to pay some closing costs with it, use it for down payment, but you can also use up the grant to buy down points and get your rate back to where they used to be, hopefully oh, wow. where they used to be. So that's a really, really nice program. There's another program that's been out um, with mass housing. It's called Workforce Advantage. Mm -hmm. And Workforce Advantage um, will give you up to 50,000 if you buy in one of the gateway communities. Mm -hmm. And one of those gateway communities is the town of Bonstable. Mm -hmm. But they'll give you 30000 if you buy anywhere in the state of Massachusetts. So you don't have to live there. You can just buy wherever you want. Um, and the nice thing about that is they both have 640 credit scores, which usually is, is typically low for mass housing. Um, their debt to income ratio is about 45%. So that's average. Okay. But having the 30000 as it's what they do with that and the workforce advantages, rather than a grant, which is forgivable, it's a soft second at 0%. So oh, wow. it sits on the back of the first loan yeah. and you only repay it if you refinance or if you sell the property, then you would have to repay it. Huh. So they're both some really nice products there. Interesting. But I think in this market, it's going to help a lot because if you're looking at if you could get 30 or 50,000 off your purchase price and use some of it to cover your closing costs, pay your mortgage insurance up front. So then you don't have to worry about that extra payment, pay down your rate a little bit. I think yeah. it's going to help some people. And I think we're going to see these first time home buyers coming back in this market because things are starting to change. Yes, they are. We all we know that very well. Yeah. Definitely. It'd be great. You know, so many families and, and, and individuals have been pushed out um, and this may be a way for them to, to work their way back into exactly. it. Exactly. So and I think that it, it actually has to do with the COVID-19 and where um, they felt it hit hardest. And I think that's where they picked Barnstable as one of the, the areas. So they went through and picked Boston and 28 other areas. Wow. And it's, and it depends. It's a little confusing with them. Because, yeah. um, you know, like I said, on the on the dreams one, we call it dreams, which is the grant program, you know, you have those the 80 percent of the 135 percent of yeah. the median um, area income. But when it comes to workforce advantage, it goes by number of people in your household. So hmm. there's different ways you qualify there. But they're okay. both great programs. I mean, to have a soft second sitting on your house and you don't have to pay it back is pretty nice, too. And now, you can get up to 30000 and buy anywhere and live right. anywhere. So you could live in Dennis and buy in Dennis. Hmm. 
Now, do these programs extend the closing timetable, if you will? Um, I would give it an extra week just to be on the yeah. safe side because you're going to have to go through a mass housing um, application and we yeah. have to work with them on what the down payment is going to be. Okay. And you're able to help guide a buyer, borrower uh, through the process. Uh, oh, absolutely. We do, yeah. we do this all the time. Yep. Great. And there's, there's another program out there that I know was around for, it's been around for a while and I've had clients have used it and it kind of went a little bit by the wayside, at least as far as our clients are concerned, with the market going the way it is. And that's the USDA backed. Um, oh, yeah. Program. USDA has a great program. USDA is 100% financing. You can buy anywhere on the Cape except for the town of Onstable. So it's a little different than Dreams. So you yeah. can't buy in the town of Onstable, but you can buy anywhere else. It's 100% financing. Um, it has a discounted rate. The mortgage insurance is 0.35%, and, which is very low. And you have a 1% funding fee that they add to the loan. So if you have, um, they have low debt to income ratios and the credit score 640. So if you have a client that, you know, the average, they make under say 110, I think is around what the limit is. I'd have to look it up. But if yeah. they make around 100,000 and they don't have a lot of debt, and they don't have a lot of money to put down, this is a great way to do it. And what I usually tell realtors is when you're making an offer with USDA, a lot of people say, well, the seller wants to see some money up front. So how can we do that if it's 100% financing? Well, you can make a $1,000 offer and then you can put 5,000 with your PNS and we can use it for, towards closing cost and prepaid items. So that way they have some skin in the game. Yeah. It's, way around it but it's a great great program one of my favorites and those do have a little bit of an extension on the timetable for closing they do sales. because what happens is once we get through and we have to have the title to do it as well once we get the package we have to send it out to usda for a final approval so it depends on what their time frame is in yeah. this market right now they're probably not that backed up Last year, they were backed up sometimes up to two weeks. So we just have to okay. make sure. So I usually tell people when you're making an offer, let me reach out to an underwriter and find out what the turn time is for USDA. Sure. Yeah. Just to make sure we have enough. I usually try to add at least a week. Yeah. I mean, certainly the last two years, give or take, have been very difficult for first-time home buyers. And it sounds mm -hmm. like these programs um, are, are giving some light to the possibility that they may be able to purchase a home of their own. Um, Correct, or a condo. A right. condo is a nice first time home buyer um, product for them. You know, yeah. a lot of people will buy a condo and keep it for two, three years and then sell and, you know, move up. Right, right. Get, in, get your foot in the door and then- Correct, yeah. Little less in price. Yep, right. so you can use these programs on condos as well. Okay. Great. All great information. Thank you very much, Amy. No problem. Anytime.